Okay, so we're going to take a look at the area of regular polygons. Uh, and I'm going to do that using this example of a pentagon. Um, and let's assume that this is a perfectly drawn pentagon. Of course, none of my shapes are perfectly drawn, and everybody knows that, which is fine. But what if I wanted to find the area of that pentagon? Now, we know the area of a trapezoid. We know the area of a triangle. We know the area of a rectangle. But we don't quite know how uh, the area of a pentagon works. Um, and you know, to be honest, uh, we could break this up, right? I could break this into a trapezoid and a, and a triangle. Um, I could break this into like a rectangle. No, probably not a rectangle. That probably wouldn't work. Um, maybe like a square. But then I'd be left with some other weird sides here. Okay, so how would I break this up in a way using the formulas that we already know? And there's actually a really cool way of doing that. Um, and a really cool way. So what I'm going to do, and this is going to be true for any pentagon, any pentagon that we come across, we can do this with. All right, so what I can do is I can find a point right in the middle. So let's say that that is perfectly in the center. All right, so the uh, point right in the center. And if I draw a line to every vertice, so if I go to every single vertice, and all the little points on this pentagon. Now my drawing is not perfect, but I've now broken this into five triangles, right? Now one, two, three, four, five triangles. And each one of these triangles are exactly the same size. Now that's because of a regular polygon, right? Um, and, and, and this uh, would make it a lot easier to uh, find the area of the pentagon. Now, there's a little bit of information that we'd have to have, right? So let's take a look back. Let's go back a second, and let's say we take a look at the area of a triangle, just one triangle, and we know that the area is base times height divided by two, right? Or one half base times height, however you wanna look at it. But uh, we're just gonna stick with base times height divided by two. Now, the base times height divided by two here, the base would be here, this, this length here. And the height is the distance that meets at a 90 degree angle for that one triangle, right? So here we have our base and our height, and we can have the area of one triangle. Well, if I knew the base and the height of one of these triangles, then I could find the area of this pentagon by just multiplying it by five, or the number of uh, triangles that we have for that shape. And now there's some, you know, uh, there's some, some language to this here. So this, uh, this side length here, right, the side length, we could call that the base of this pentagon, right? One side length we could consider it to be the base. And this height right here, this triangle of the height of just this one triangle, we can't necessarily call it the height anymore, right? Because there's five of them. All right, so this actually has a brand new name and it's a very funny name. And it starts with an A and it's called an, a, an apophem. An apothem. Okay, so an apothem is the distance from the center of a polygon to the edge and it meets at a 90 degree angle. All right, so an apothem. Well, what's really awesome is that the apothem is the height of one triangle, right? So the apothem for this triangle is the height of a basically of a regular triangle. 
So the apothem of a polynom or a polygon, excuse me, the apothem for a polygon is the height of one triangle, right? So we can think about this as the height of one triangle, okay? So if I want to put together a formula for a any for any regular polygon. So even if we had like 17 sides, it doesn't matter the number of sides, we could always break it into this many, uh, however many triangles there are for the number of sides that they have. So one way of thinking about this, and, and, and I think this might help. So the area of the polygon, we know that it has to be the area of one triangle, and then we have to count the number of triangles that we have, right? So we could do this like this area, so we know the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So the area of one of these is gonna be base times height divided by two. And then we have to multiply that by the number of sides. So the way we could do that is base times height times the number of sides all divided by two. And that's it for any polygon. It's just base times height times the number of sides divided by two. And then we'll, we can't use height though, right? Because for a polygon, we don't know the height of a polygon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that height. And we're gonna say area is the base times apothem times number of sides divided by two, right? Because the height of one triangle is really technically called the apothem. So this is all we really need to know. Now, how are we going to use that? Let's use that formula for a couple of examples, and then you should be able to do pretty good on your uh, practice problems. So let's do a couple of examples real quick. The first one, ooh, this is a really poorly drawn one, two, three, four, five, six-sided polygon, six sides. Uh, hexagon, right? All right, so remember the formula is area equals base times apothem times the number of sides divided by two. All right, so our base here is 12, so we can say the area is going to be 12 times the apothem. We have 14.5 times the number of sides. How many sides do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six sides. Six sides all divided by two. <coughs> oh, that was not a corona sneeze that was an allergy sneeze just to clarify all right now i can get my calculator out and just plug all these i'll plug all this into my calculator so in my calculator i can type 12 times 14.5 times 6 all that divided by 2 and we get 522 so the area is 522 units squared. All right, let's try another one. And this one's kind of a tricky one here. Here, we have a triangle, right? It would just be nice. Base times height divided by two would be great, but they gave us an apothem for this triangle, right? So here we have an apothem for the triangle. So recall the area base times apothem times the number of sides divided by two. All right, so here our base is eight. The apothem now is four root three over three. Boy, that's kind of weird. And then the number of sides, we have three sides times three, all divided by two. Now, when we get something like this on our homework, um, there's a couple of these, um, and on the practice problems, uh, take your time simplifying this. This looks really disgusting on how we're going to multiply this out, but I'll show you real quickly how this works, and it's not too terrible. That three, so this is four square root of three divided by three, and I'm going to multiply it by that three, so these threes right here cancel out. Okay, so now we're left with eight times 
4 square root of 3, all now divided by 2. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So now I get 4 times 4 square root of 3. And 4 times 4 square root of 3 is 16 root 3. And, oh, I forgot. Units squared. Yes. That is my final answer. I think there's only one other one of these on the practice problem. I don't think I would ask you something like this uh, on your assessments.